Let me tell you three different things that I find frustrating with the Insta360 Ace Pro. This is an action camera. It's supposed to be perfect when you're outdoor on an adventure, mountain biking, skiing. Well, the first issue and probably my biggest frustration that I've had so far with this camera is the fact that you can't use polarized sunglasses with the screen. So all of my sunglasses are polarized because I'm out in snow, I'm out with water, I'm out just in bright sunlight, I go out to the desert a lot. And so I'll use polarized sunglasses. The issue is when you're filming horizontal like this, you can't see the screen. Now, if you rotate the camera and shoot vertically, you could see the screen, but when you're shooting horizontal, you can't see it. For me, I shoot everything horizontal. So that's a huge misstep in my book. So the issue is, let's say I have it on the chest mount and I'm like looking at the screen, I can't see it. So I have to tilt my head like this to be able to see it. Now, another thing that I find kind of frustrating with this camera is the fact that there's no log profile. Now there is a flat profile, but you can see here, here's a side-by-side -side of the flat and the standard. It's a little bit less saturation, a little bit less contrast, but it's definitely not gonna give you any more dynamic range. So working with this camera, you're basically looking at a standard profile and you can either make it super poppy or you can make it a little bit flatter. And I think if you're comparing this among the GoPro or the DJI Osmo Action 4, both of those have log profiles. And if you're mixing this with other cameras like I typically do, I wanna have that log profile to make it a little bit easier to color grade. With this, you're pretty much stuck with the color that you get out of it. And what I found is that the HDR might look a little bit better, but it's not a huge HDR difference from the 60 frames per second and up. There is a little bit of a difference, but it's not a huge massive difference that they're promoting with this camera. Now, another thing that I've noticed that's kind of frustrating is that the footage is a little bit mushy, especially when you zoom in on it in, in your editing software. So what's your thoughts on this camera? Now, if you're someone who uses an action camera to be able to grow your YouTube channel, make sure you head over to the Creator Film School. It's where I have all of my courses on how to be a creator. So make sure you go to thecreatorfilmschool.com and I'll see you on the next one.